Hi, good evening, Veronica. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Okay. Very well. Thank you. All right, that's nice. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. So, how was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Bien, bien. Trabajado, pero bien. Oh, okay. A lot of work. Sí. Sí, sí. Bastante. Yeah, I can imagine. So, you told me you, you teach, right? You're a teacher. Yes. So, what do you sure. teach? What do you mm. teach? ¿Qué enseña? Mm. Eh, en el nivel superior, por ejemplo, didáctica, métodos de investigación. Oh, that's mm. nice. Very interesting. Sí. Mm. Ahí estoy impartiendo clases. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Este, ahorita voy... Eh, un poquito retrasada en el trabajo de la plataforma. Oh, porque okay. he estado bastante saturada. Voy en el, precisamente ahorita acabo de terminar el, el 1.11, 1.10, perdón. Uh -huh. Está bastante. Uh -huh. Y me mandaron un mensaje. De, ah, ok. Ah, Recordándole. Sí, sí. Pero voy a ponerme en día porque sí, no he tenido tiempo. Uh -huh. Sí, Ajá. comprendo, pero sí, este, hay que tratar ahí de ir trabajando, aunque sea poco a poco, para ir uh -huh. avanzando. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, that's okay. Sí. sí, comprendo que pasamos muy ocupados, yo sé lo que es trabajar y tener también aparte trabajos de tareas y todo eso, pues. Sí, sí cuesta un poquitín. Sí, pero hay que hacer el esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Exactly. Sí, así es. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes, it's nice. Mm. Sí. Mm. Where are you from, Verónica? ¿De dónde eh, es? De aquí que está. Oh, you're from Aguachapán. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice. Mm -hmm. ¿Y usted? I'm from Santa Ana. Ay, mire qué bonito. Uh -huh. Estamos cerca. Así es. Sí. sí, sí. La mayoría de, de tutores que hemos tenido son de, por ejemplo, de, de Lourdes. Cerca oh. donde es esta, esta institución, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exacto. Uh -huh. Pero qué bueno que la tenemos de cerquita. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, Janet. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing well. Everything's fine. Excellent. Yes, how was your day? Uh, all good, teacher. Today is a uh, great day. And your day, how are you? Well, it was nice, too. I didn't have much to do, so it was nice, right? <laughs> I had some time to rest and to do some other things. So, yeah, it was good. Relaxing. Yes, kind of. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So did you have any time to work in the platform today, Janet? Yes, I work in a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. What section are you in? Um, section... Four. I don't remember, teacher, but... Okay. Eh, llegando al... Como al... No, creo que las... Cinco, la de llegando como al intermedio del examen. Ah, como son dos exámenes, eh, creo, ¿verdad? Sí, el primer examen está en la sección 3. Ah, pues, ajá, pasando, pasando esa, ajá. Ah, ok, that's nice. Ajá. 
Excellent. So keep going. Hi, Esmeralda. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, everybody. How are you? I am fine. And you? Great. I'm doing well. Thank you. How was your day? I am very good. Very good. I am take our. I am take care of. How do you say sobrino? Um, your niece. Your niece. Niece. Mm -hmm. I take. I take care of um, niece. Of my niece. Oh my niece. My niece. Okay, okay, that's nice. How old All is today. he? <laughs> oh, okay. Kind of tidy, I imagine. How old is he? Yes. ¿Qué edad tiene? El um, she, she is, no, he is a uh, fifth. Oh, three years old? Three years old. Yeah. Yes. He's little. <laughs> en la edad sí. más tremenda, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, but they are cute. <laughs> sí. That's nice, Esmeralda. Hi, Selena. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How's it going? How are you? I am very well. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, very good. Okay. Did you work today? I don't know for. Oh, okay. Only at home. Only with the yeah. housework and everything, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, that's good. Did you have any time to work in the platform, Selena? Eh, teacher, ya terminé. Y fíjese, oh. le quería decir que no me aparece el, ¿cómo se llama? El certificado. Really? Todavía no le aparece. ¿Por no, qué? Eh, no. Pero sí sabe cómo se descarga, ¿verdad? En la parte donde está el progreso, ahí le tendría que salir el botoncito para descargar. Ajá, sí, pero ahora no me aparece la opción, porque ahí aparece mm. View, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No pero está ahora activado. No aparece. Ok, déjeme no, no consultarlo activado. mañana y les aviso lo que, lo que me digan. Ok. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. How are you? Fine. I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great. Okay. Very Thank good. Thank you. Right. Nice. Did you have any time to work in the platform today? Yes, teacher. Good. Um, section section three uh, three point six. Okay. That's excellent. Pretty good. Okay, oh, thank you. All right, good evening, Tamara. Hi. How are you? Yeah, fine. No, okay. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Pretty good. Did you have any time to work in the platform today? Uh, yes, I'm finished section three. And All right. The exam. Great. How was the exam? Was it easy or so so? Mm. <laughs> Not it's easy, but uh, but the so so <laughs> so so. Okay. No, no tuve mucho problema, la verdad. All right. That's nice. Sí. Sí. Good. And how about Flor? Hi, Flor. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good night. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm very good. You? Okay, I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Good evening, Gloria. Good evening, Gerardo. Hi, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. 
How are you? I am fine. You? Excellent. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. So, did you guys have any time to work in the flat in the platform today? Let's see, Jonathan. Did you work in the platform? Yes, teacher. Uh... And working uh, platform. Okay, that's great. What section are you in? In qué sección vamos, Jonathan? Um, sure. Uh, estoy trabajando en la two, two zero. Es Sorry. Las, part las partes del cuerpo. Oh, okay. Parts of the body. That is section two. Sí. Okay. That's good. No voy tan mal. <laughs> no, 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 vamos bien. En esta okay. semana deberíamos estar por la sección 2, la 3 ya llegando porque mañana vamos a resolver el examen, ¿ok? Sí, es, sí, es que tuve he estado en temas de las clases de la universidad. Ok. Entonces no, no había podido conectarme a las clases, pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos, vamos. <laughs> All right, don't worry, I understand it. Just keep going, ¿ok? Yes, gracias, teacher. Ok. Gerardo, how are you? Good teacher. Excellent. Did you have any time to work in the platform today? Yes, I practice um, section three. Okay. Uh, three point H. Okay, you are reaching the exam. Ya vamos llegando al examen. Yes. All right. That's nice. Excellent, Gerardo. And you, Gloria? Thanks. Yes, teacher, I work in section 2.2. Okay. All right, that's nice. Keep going, Gloria, that's nice. Thank you. All right, hi, Gustavo, good evening. Hi. How Sorry. are you? Um, I just come. I just came back. I just came back home. Okay. Sí, vengo. I Llegando. came back to study. Okay, that's good. Eh, uh -huh. eh, I want to ask you something. Eh, Tell me. I have. Um, I've been. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, I've had a bad. Um, I I have. I had from trouble yeah, with the platform. Really, what happened? <laughs> yes. Mm. So tell me what happened. Eh, per, eh, sí, he tenido problemas. I've been, I have a problem. How? Eh, no sé, ya ni me acuerdo. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> sí, ¿cuál fue el problema? ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> Estoy mal en la, en, la, en todo. Um, hoy me, me compartieron una, me compartieron este lote de inglés corporativo. Me dijeron de que, que tengo que volver a, a iniciar porque eh, no, no, no he logrado tener buenos resultados. Ah, ok. Este, si gusta Gustavo, es... Quiero ver, mañana me puede escribir y podemos revisar. De igual forma, si necesita que le ayuden algún ejercicio, que le explique algo, con mucho gusto lo hacemos hoy. Ok, ok, excellent, good. Ok, all right, so we are going to okay. start with our Thank class. Thank you. You're welcome. So, welcome everybody. Thank you. Um, okay, so now let's talk a little bit about imperatives. Ayer estuvimos practicando la conversación y veíamos un par de ejemplos de los imperatives. No sé si recuerdan alguno de los ejemplos. Do you take, remember? Uh -huh. Take. Drinks. 
Don't drink. Exactly. So we had one example that said, take one pill every night, right? After dinner, I think. Take one pill yeah. every night after dinner and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So as you see, those indicate some things that we have to do or we don't have to do. Usamos los imperativos para hablar de cosas que debemos hacer o que no debemos hacer. So we can say that we use them to give an order, a warning, a suggestion, an instruction, or advice. Los utilizamos para dar órdenes, para dar eh, su, eh, sugerencias, instrucciones o indicaciones, y también para dar consejos. And then another thing that we need to notice about the about the imperatives is that we use the infinitive or base form of the verb without to. Para hacer un imperativo, utilizamos el verbo en la base form o en el infinitivo, pero sin ponerle to. No digo to go or to take, to do, sino que solamente do, take, or go. And a third thing we must know is that there is no subject. En estos, a diferencia de las demás oraciones, no agregamos ningún sujeto. Esto porque eh, normalmente cuando uso un imperativo es que se lo estoy diciendo a la persona en el momento. Entonces ya yo sé a quién me estoy refiriendo. No es el hecho de, de que de repente yo vaya a decir un imperativo solo por decirlo, ¿verdad? Sino que me estoy refiriendo a alguien, ya sea una sola persona o un grupo de personas. Por ejemplo, when I say eat healthy, eat healthy. Or drink lots of water, drink lots of water. Coma saludable, tome mucha agua, right? Then another thing is that to make the imperative negative, we add do not or don't before the verb. Como lo vimos también en el ejemplo de la conversación, para hacer los negativos solo agregamos el don't o do not antes del verbo. Al inicio, como en el ejemplo, don't eat much candy. Don't eat much candy. Or don't touch. Don't touch. Okay. One more thing that we need to know is that to make the imperative more polite, we add please. Para que nuestro imperativo no suene tanto como una orden y sea más amable, podemos agregar please. Al final, como en este caso, be quiet, please. Be quiet, please. O también se puede utilizar al inicio como please copy this. Please copy this. Okay, so that's what we have for the imperatives. Any questions about this? Tenemos alguna consultita en cuanto a los imperativos? No questions? Okay, so then let's make some, some more examples. Think about being a parent. So remember that parents are will always tell kids, daughters and sons about the things that they have to do, they don't have to do. So they go like, don't touch this, take, take your food, finish with this, do your homework and so on. So think of an example, as a parent, what kind of imperatives do you use? Pensemos en el hecho de ser padres, que normalmente a los niños les estamos diciendo haga esto, no haga el otro, and so on. So make some examples, please. Let's see, Gerardo, do you have one example? Don't run. Don't run, very good. Gloria, tell me another one, please. Don't talk in class. Don't talk in class. Very good. Jonathan. Jonathan, can you add another for example? Example? For example, don't touch. Don't touch. Excellent. Veronica, tell me another one, please. Uh, no scream. Don't scream. Very good. 
Esmeralda, do you have one? Don't drink much soda. Don't drink much, much soda, okay. Very good. Soda. Flor, tell me another example, please. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Very good. Let's see, Claudia Gomez. Do we have another example? Please. Yes, do you have another example, Claudia? Sorry, I can't hear you. Um, maybe you can write it in the chat, Claudia. No sé si lo puede escribir en el chat porque le oigo entrecortado. Okay, so don't worry, Claudia. You can use the chat too, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so... Miss Lily? Tell me. Miss Lily, mm -hmm. uh, don't say bad words. Don't say bad words. Course. Yes, it's a great example. In class, in class. All right, nice. Don't say bad words in class. Okay, great. All right, do we have any doubts or any questions about the, this topic? No sé si tenemos preguntas. Se puede decir pay attention in class? Exactly, pay attention in class. Okay. Exactamente, las teachers utilizamos también muchos imperativos para decir haga esto, no haga esto, and so on. Okay. Teacher. So, Tell me. Eh, en el caso de if you have, mm -hmm. ¿en qué momento utilizaríamos el if? ¿En qué momento utilizamos el if? Eh, ¿Podría mencionar un ejemplo, Gerardo? Please. El, el que dan en la plataforma, creo, dice if you have a call. Ah, ok. En ese caso es un conditional. Entonces, estamos poniendo una condición que va a causar algo, ¿verdad? Otra reacción, digámoslo así. For example, if you have a cold, you should not go to work. Si tiene gripe, no debería ir al trabajo. Entonces, estamos hablando de una condición, si tiene gripe. ¿Y qué pasa si tengo gripe? No debo ir al trabajo, right? So, or if you eat much candy, you will have a stomachache, for instance. Si come demasiado dulce, le va a doler el estómago, for instance. Okay? El if okay, significa sí. Y ahí agregamos la condición. Si esto pasa, va a pasar lo otro, and so on. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? No más preguntas? <coughs> Okay, so now it's time to practice. We are going to practice by writing some rules for the following places. Normalmente en los lugares que visitamos encontramos algunas reglas que debemos seguir, cosas que debemos y cosas que no debemos hacer. Entonces eso es lo que quiero que ahora practiquemos. We are going to work in some groups in the, in the breakout rooms. And we are going to make rules about the things that we have to do or we don't have to do at the different places. The zoo, the school, the movie theater, the museum, and the park. So let's see, we are 14. So let me create four breakout rooms. And okay, so you are going to work with only one place. Cada uno de ustedes, cada grupo va a tener un, uno de los lugares y debe escribir tres reglas en afirmativo y tres en negativo, ¿ok? Three affirmative imperatives and three negative imperatives. El room número uno sería Claudia, Gerardo, Gloria, and Jonathan. You work two, ¿ok? Two. 
¿ok? Sí. Hacemos reglas sí. para el zoo. Number one. Room number two, that is Carlos, Flor, and Gustavo. You make rules for the school. Okay. Room number three, Janet, Selena, and Tamara. We work with the movie theater. In room number four, that would be Esmeralda and Veronica work with the museum, okay? And just for an example, let's make some rules for behaving in the park, at the park. So let's see, what are some things that we have to do at the park? Hagamos un ejemplo con el parque. What are some things that we have to do? Algunas cosas que deberíamos hacer en el parque, for instance. Uh, uh, rules. Mm -hmm. So maybe respect others. Respect others would be one of the rules. Or also do not throw trash. No tire basura, do not throw trash. Right? Um, uh, don't, uh -huh. o sea, for example, don't throw, throw out the garbage on the street or on the park, in the park. Exactly. At the park or? or at the park. At the park. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. At the okay. park. Uh -huh. That's nice. Teacher. Yes, tell me. For, for the situation, can be safe and mantener social distance for the park yes definitely keep the social oh, distancing okay you okay. say keep the social distancing mantener keep okay all right keep. yes so at this moment i'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and i'll be visiting you okay so just accept the okay. invitation please Me envió a la sala principal. Um, who's that? Jonathan. Jonathan. Um, lo volví a sacar. Let's see. Sí. Let me see once again. A ver, lo voy a mover entonces nuevamente. Okay. Ahora le llegó la invitación. Ahorita no. Todavía no. Okay, so I don't know what happened. Y ahora, Jonathan? Nada, teacher. Nada. Fíjese que. Pero Gabriela, Nos... Claudia, tampoco mm. creo. No sé qué será lo que pasa porque. Lo he asignado a distintos grupos y no me sale, no sé por qué. Um, ¿Ahora, Jonathan? Nada. <laughs> Nada. Nada. Ok, this is weird. Qué extraño. Um, hmm, I don't know. Let's see. One, two, Fíjese que no, no sé, Jonathan, qué será lo que pasa. Pero yo estoy haciendo mis ejercicios. Ok, sí, disculpas ahí en, con el caso porque sí los mandé a todos, pero no sé qué pasó. Y ahora lo muevo de grupo en grupo, pero me dice que no le llega la invitación, ¿verdad? Así que... Sí, no, no, no parece nada. Ok, trabaja entonces usted un par de reglas. Voy a visitar a los compañeros y luego vuelvo para chequear con usted, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto. Gracias, Tichu. All right. Hi, Gerardo. Hi, teacher. Don't you have a pair? Mm, yo creo que se salió 
o le falla el ah, internet. Sí, probablemente sea falla del internet o algo. En el caso eh, de dar de comer a los animales, no dar de comer a los animales sería don't give food o... En ese caso feed. tenemos el verbo feed. Uh -huh. Don't feed the animals. Entonces no se coloca el verbo food, o, bueno, food o la palabra food o el verbo eat. Um, no, en ese caso, um, para darle comida a alguien más, diríamos feed. Principalmente okay, pues, yeah. en el caso de animales se utiliza ese verbo, ¿ok? Ok. Any other questions? Eh, no tirar basura sería don't throw trash. Exactly, don't throw trash. Okay. All right, if you have any other questions, just let me know through the chat, okay? Okay. Take a, take a cheer, take a cheer clean. The school. A mí me aparece es la oración, presentarse con la camisa limpia, así sería. Ajá. Puede ser, sí. Uh, sería, show, pero es que lo que me cuesta un poco es la pronunciación. Sería, eh, show... Ay, no sé. With a clean shirt. Sí, tranquila. Ajá. Que... Hi, girls. How are you doing? Mm. Eh. Aquí vamos. Okay. Teacher, casi no encontramos. Positivas, solo negativas. Oh, yeah. So, what, what is your place? A movie theater. The movie theater, okay. Uh -huh. So maybe you can consider pay attention to the movie, right? Or just watch the movie. Uh, watch the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, <laughs> kind of, right? Sí, un poquito. <laughs> and um, then let me think of another one. Maybe we um, have. Turn off the cell phone. Turn off the cell phone. Okay, that's a good one. Also, be mm -hmm. quiet. Be quiet. I guess. But it looks like it's como negativo, ¿ves? Ajá. Um, sí, sí, o sea, no se dice con el don't, sin embargo, es una prohibición, digámoslo así, ¿verdad? Como un, Ajá. una limitación. Um, ahí se quería para decir estar maybe ser puntual. Be punctual. Y este la manera de decir como uso obligatorio de mascarilla es como una regla, como un mandato. ¿va? Pero yes. este yo puse, yo siento que la, lo, la oración que pusimos aquí en el chat es, lo siento muy literal. No sé si está bien así. O oh, había otra forma más natural. ¿Cómo sería? La, la mandatory, que... mandatory use of a mask. Sí, así sería. Ah, okay. Ajá. Quizás en lugar de poner, como les dije, watch the movie or pay attention to the movie, podemos decir enjoy the movie, disfruta la película. Ah, That sounds no, better, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, como of... regaño. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy the movie. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. See you in a moment. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Any questions? Yes, finished. Oh, you finished? Yes. All right. Teacher. Nice. No questions or anything. Mm. It's fine. No Esperamos que no. Okay. That's great. <laughs>
Aunque right. sí, una, una, una preguntita. Por ejemplo, para, para dar nuestras, eh, nuestras reglas, digamos, o normas, eh, tendemos que hacer la pregunta previo a la respuesta. Eh, ¿Cómo así? No. Por ejemplo, las reglas, eh, no, to, no, no, do, no touch, por ejemplo, en el museo. Uh -huh. eh, digamos que, por ejemplo, preguntarnos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué reglas o qué normas se deben de cumplir al visitar un museo? Eh, o solo no, no precisamente. Solo ah. mencionar las reglas. Ah, así okay. es. Ah, perfecto. Ok, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. We'll be back in a couple of seconds. Ok. Ay, ya se terminó. Sí, ya. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. Let's see, did you have a chance to make the rules? Did you all finish? Yes? Okay, pretty good. Now let's listen to some of the rules you figured out. Let's see the first one, the zoo. Who was working for that? Let's see, Gerardo, was it you? Sí. ¿Quién estaba trabajando con las reglas del zoológico? Yo, teacher. Gerardo. Y Jonathan, did you make some yes, other teacher. rules too? Okay, pretty good. So, Gerardo, you start and then Jonathan presents. For example, keep social distance. Stay in a safe Aria, respect the signage. Okay. Don't throw trash. Don't feed the animals. Don't run. All right, excellent, Gerardo. So just a couple of things regarding pronunciation. We say area, area, that would be the pronunciation. And also a signal, signal, area, signal. signal. Mm -hmm. Okay, very Thank good, you, Gerardo. You, You're welcome. Jonathan, it's your turn. Okay. Don't touch the, the animals. Don't touch the animals. Okay. Don't throw food to animals. Mm -hmm. And um, don't to trash. Sorry, can don't, you repeat the last one? Okay, don't to trash. Very good. And don't clean of the metallic fabric. Nice. Finish the show. So let's okay, excellent, Jonathan. Very good. And then there's also throw food to the animals. It's okay. However, we have this word feed. Don't feed the animals. Eso sería no darles comida o no alimentar a los animales. Don't feed the animals. Don't feed. Feed. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, Jonathan, thank you. Now, Esmeralda, tell me about yours. Affirmative or negative? Whatever you prefer. Okay, affirmative. Take a take a note or a notation. Take a photograph. You read a direct. How do you say directions? Direction. The directions. Mm -hmm. Direction. Read a direction. Okay, pretty good. What is your place? Sorry. Is museum, museum. The museum, okay. Museum, museum. Nice. And you were working with Veronica, right? Veronica, yes. can you share the negative rules, please? 
eh, Mewsy, por ejemplo, do not touch, do not touch, do not touch, eh, do not touch, eh, do not eat, mm -hmm. eh, do not run, don't run, excellent, very good. Okay, so okay. thank you, Esmeralda and Veronica. Now it's Carlos' turn. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. What is your place, Carlos? No, um, 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 to school. Okay, the school. Uh, Who did you work with? That's good. Yeah. Um, can... con Gustavo y, y Flor. Okay. So please, Gustavo, Flor, and Carlos, present your rules. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Affirmative, uh, affirmative, uh, uh, Flor, Flor, que diga las affirmative. I, I am negative. Yeah. Yes, start, please. I seven o'clock in the school. Keep the classroom clean. Y la otra ya no la, no la copié, no sé cuál era la otra. Mm -hmm. Afirmativa. All right. Ah, la de presentarse mm -hmm. a las 7 en punto, esa era, uh -huh. no, esa sí la dije. Sí, esta sí, hay 7 o'clock in the school. Ok. Y la de mantener el salón limpio, solo que la otra sí me la escuché, no mm -hmm. sé cuál es. Mm -hmm. Yo no me acuerdo. Gustavo, ¿te recuerdas tú cuál era la otra? Eh, le voy a ayudar. Eh, me corrige, eh, Miss Lily. Yes. Este, mm -hmm. eh, we must introduce eh, with, eh, with the teacher claim. No sé si es correcta. We must introduce. We must we introduce mm -hmm. eh, with the teacher claim. Eh, ¿Qué queremos decir? Exactamente. Eh, debemos presentarnos limpios en... en Ah, uh, presentarlos con la camisa limpia. Ah, uh, okay. So With maybe. The, the claim. Okay. So maybe it's better to say keep your uniform clean. Mantenga su uniforme okay. limpio. Uniform. Keep your uniform yes. clean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uniform clean. Okay, teacher. Yes, that will be better. I negative. I negative, right. teacher. Go ahead. Don't eat a snack in the classroom. Hmm? Don't speak in the class. He don't 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 room in the in the um espacio. Se dice como se dice espacio. Hallway. Hallway. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you very much, Thank Carlos, you. Gustavo, and Flor. And <clears throat> next is Selena. Uh, sí, Selena. Quería. Ah. Okay. Eh, Tiene alguna pregunta, Gustavo? No, eh, pensé que faltaba. No, ah. no finish, finish, finish. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Bye. Selena, it's your turn. Teacher. Yes. Se escucha. Yes, I can hear you. No, se escucha. Entonces sería positive, turn off the cell phone, mandatory, mandatory use of a mouse, uh, be partial, y enjoy the movie. Okay, excellent. Who were you working with? ¿Con quién trabajó? Con Janet y con Tamara. Okay, so Janet and Tamara, can you present the negative ones, please? Thank you, Selena. Uh, don't speak now. Mm -hmm. um, like a All right. And the third one? Don't eat food. Don't eat food. All right, excellent. Thank you, Janet, Tamara, and Selena. 
And let's see, I think everybody has presented. Todos han presentado, ¿verdad? Yes? yes. All right, excellent. So you did a great job. Now let's continue by talking a little bit about the vocabulary for stores and other places. So by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Ahora vamos a hablar un poquito de las tiendas y los lugares importantes en una ciudad y donde podemos encontrar las distintas cosas que necesitamos de pronto comprar o adquirir. So here we have a list of places. We have, first of all, the drugstore. Drugstore. So tell me, what can I get at a drugstore? Pharmacia. Pharmacia. Yes, it's a pharmacy. So what can I get? ¿Qué podemos pharmacy. encontrar? ¿Qué podemos encontrar Coffee. en la drugstore? Medication. Medication. Okay. Cold field. Nice. Aspirin. All right. Aspirin. The different kinds of medications. Um, see the, yeah. Pretty good. Now we have the supermarket. What can we find at a supermarket? Food. 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 Snack. Candy. Food. Fruit. Mm -hmm. Fruit. Snacks. Snacks. Vegetables. 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 Okay. Very good. Also beverages. Bebidas. Beverages. Yes, yes. All right, nice. Soda, tea. Meat, chicken. Pretty Meat, good. Chicken. Exactly. The third one is the bookstore. What can we find at a bookstore? Librería. <sighs> yes. Um, book. So we find yeah, books. Not. Also. Pen, pencil. Pencil. Exactly. Some school Color. supplies. Paper. Mm -hmm. Paper. Very good. Word. All right. Excellent. And now tell Word. me about the gas station. What do we get at the gas station? Gasoline. Gasoline. <laughs> Gasoline. Also snacks. Gasoline. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super um, regular. Gasoline. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Gasoline and, and maybe and some snacks and some beverages yeah. sometimes. Okay, yeah. pretty good. Now we have the restaurant. What can we get at a restaurant? Food. 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 Different kinds food. of food. Mexican food. Chinese. Coffee. Bread Chinese. Okay, we can. Beer. Japan. Mm -hmm. Also beer. Salvadorian. Yes. Salvadorian food. Chinese food. Um, Mexican food. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very good. Next one is the post office. What can we get at a post office? Or what can we do? Let's como, say. Correos. Como oficina de correos. We can send yes. mails. Mails. Correo mail, es mail. mail. El, ah, en el caso del correo mail. electrónico decimos email, ¿verdad? Ese e -mail, e que sería email. como de electrónico, email. Delecto. En el caso de correo normal mail. es mail. mail. Sin la e, mail. mail. Okay. How do you say paquete? Box. Uh, package. Uh -huh. package. The package. The package. Yeah. package. Stamps. Stamps. Letters. 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 Excellent. Okay, now tell me about the department store. What can we get at the department department store? The, um, department children. Okay, there is a children's department. Department mm -hmm. woman. Okay, there is a woman's department too. Mm -hmm. So at the department store, we find different areas, different departments, where we get different kinds of stuff. For example, it could be clothes, furniture. Or shoes, furniture, electronics, and some others, right? Mm. And then we have the right. bank. The bank. The bank. What do we do at the bank? Money. Money. <laughs> Money, right? 
Yes, we cash <laughs> some checks. Podemos cambiar cheques, cash cards. some checks. Cards. Or also we make cards. deposits. Hacemos depósitos, make mm. deposits. Or Bank also credit. Exactly. Bank. Also, you can withdraw money. Sacar dinero se dice withdraw money. Withdraw. Withdraw. Um, yeah, let me grade it withdraw here. Withdraw money. Yes. Withdraw. Withdraw money. Withdraw. Withdraw money. Sacar dinero. Like in the, in the ATM, money. como en el cajero, cuando vamos a sacar dinero, mm -hmm. el cajero se dice ATM. 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 Uh, automatic system. Yeah. Automata uh, it's, I can't remember what it stands for, but yeah, it goes like that, Janet. So at the ATM, ATM, we withdraw money, okay? Cajero. Withdraw. Withdraw. Mm -hmm. withdraw. ATM. Withdraw money. Yes, that's what we do there. Yes, a deposit, teacher? Make a deposit. Make a deposit. Make a deposit. Deposit. Make, deposit. Make a deposit. Okay, so now... Just give me some seconds. I need to answer a message here. Que algunas niñas me están diciendo en el grupo que, que como que la saca de la reunión. No sé qué pasará. Okay, sorry. So now let's practice the vocabulary. Please repeat. Drugstore. 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 Supermarket. 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 Bookstore. Bookstore. Gas station. Gas station. Restaurant. 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 Post office. Post office. office. Department store. Department, Department store. store. Bank. 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 Okay, any questions Bank. about any of those? No sé si tenemos preguntas. <clears throat> For the moment, all good, teacher. Okay, everything's fine. Excellent. No. And any other places that we may add? No sé si tenemos sugerencias de algunos otros lugares que agregar. Eh, puede ser en inglés o en español si necesitan saber. Eh, plaza. ¿Otro? ¿Cómo se dice? Veterinary. Eh, teacher, sorry. Okay, the veterinarian or the vets? Salvador. Eh, eh, Salvador. Del mundo, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, Salvador del Mundo no tendría una traducción, Gustavo, porque es un nombre propio, ¿verdad? Mm, bueno. Coffee shop. The coffee shop, yes, that's another one we can add. Any others? Bakery. A bakery. Mm -hmm. Restroom. Restroom. Yes, that is important to know. Mm. Hospital. Hospital. Hospital or clinic. There's also this word clinic. Teacher, excuse me. What, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Rest, restroom. Restroom, baños. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Hey, cheer. Okay. Tell me. What is the what is the difference with restroom or bathroom? In realidad no hay diferencia. There's no difference. It's oh, just the same. Animals. Yeah, exactly. They are synonyms. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, quizás solamente eh, bathroom sería más como traducido como baños okay. y restroom como tocador. Digamos, sería una palabra un poquito más fancy, right? Ah, okay. Un poquito como más, eh, ¿cómo decirla? 
educada, algo así, un poco. Sofisticada. Sí, como voy a, exactly, more sophisticated, <laughs> like, okay. voy a ir al tocador, right? <laughs> yeah, so that would be bathroom or restroom, but at, at yeah. the end, they are the same. Any other questions or any other words to add? Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Movie theater. Okay, we can also call this the cinema and we had the police station. Joyería, como se dijera. Oh, that is a jewelry shop. Jewelry shop, maybe. Let's see. Let me add like this. Jewelry shop. Jewelry is joyería, okay? Jewelry. Uh, pero como el lugar sería jewelry shop. Yes. Let's see, say it like this. Uh, okay. Jewelry shop. Mm -hmm. Okay, any others? Barber shop. Mm. Yes, the barber oh, shop. Salon. <laughs> or a hair ba salon. <laughs> yes, we also have for the girls <laughs> hair salon or hairdressers. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, groceries is like a uh, Yes, grocery oh, store. No. Como una tiendita de comida y cosas así como básicas de primera necesidad, something like that. That's a grocery store. Oh. Grocery store is the meaning tienda. Yes, tienda, yes, sí. grocery store. Uh -huh. Como un pequeño supercito, digamos. Sorry, go ahead. O si fuera solo una tienda de accesorios, ¿cómo se tendría que poner? Si fuera... Accesorios. Una tienda de accesorios, como qué tipo de accesorio depende de, de eso. Como donde venden aritos, pulseras y cosas así, pero no joyería, porque joyería ya define cuando venden oro, plata. Uh -huh. eh, sí, en ese caso lo podemos llamar como accessory shop. Mm -hmm. Accessories. Uh -huh. Sí, sí sería. Literal, digamos, accesorios, accessories. Sí. Ajá, tienda de accesorios. Yes. Tienda de maquillaje sería makeup shop. No, no, verdad. Makeup shop or makeup store. La palabra shop es, es en general tienda, entonces la podemos conjugar con distintos tipos de producto. Oh. Y también oh. eh, store, ¿verdad? Shop or store. Exacto. Ambas sería igual como, como clínicas. Uh -huh. Sería como también clínica, que ponemos dental clean. Yes. Que es exactly. clínica dental. Uh -huh. okay. yes. Miss y alcaldía. Oh, that is the hall, the city hall. City hall. Or the town hall. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. A store. Shoe store? Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty good. All right, so we must Thanks. stop here because of the time. And um, do you have any other questions or any comments? No, no, no. no. Okay. No question. No. All right. So tomorrow we are going to talk a little bit about the prepositions of place. So please try to review them. Tratemos de, de estudiar o de, re, de revisar un poquito acerca de las prepositions of place. Eso será lo que vamos a cubrir el día de mañana. Así que si tienen alguna consultita, alguna pregunta, la tienen anotada por ahí y me la hacen mañana. Okay. So okay. that's okay. it. Thank okay. you very much for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Bye. Take care. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good Bye -bye. night. Have a nice night. Bye, teacher. Bye.